Hey everybody, welcome to the Indicade Game Slam. Uh, I'm Teddy Deef, co-designer of Hyperlight Drifter and the director of the Palm Tree team. Uh, and welcome to the Game Slam. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to give 40 teams of game makers a chance to share their work with you, and each of them get just 60 seconds to do it. So they get a chance to share their work with more people, and you get a chance to check out 40 games real fast. Um, Personally, I love the Game Slam. I've pitched in the Game Slam in years past uh, and had a great time doing it, and I'm super happy that IndieCade is keeping the tradition alive, especially in this, the year 2020, uh, where we are all doing, doing our best online. Um, so, yeah, about an hour. Uh, I'll be here a little bit, gonna talk, but more importantly, uh, you're gonna see some games uh, and get introduced to a ton of different ideas really quickly. Um, one of the great things about IndieCade and the developers that it attracts is that you're looking at um, ideas from, from all sorts of different people uh, from different places uh, who have things to say. Um, and it's really cool to get an opportunity to just have those things come together uh, and to get to check them out. Uh, and the wonderful editors at IndieCade have put them all together, like slamming them, like slamming them, Together, it's Game Slam, and it's a little strong, aggressive. We're going to work on it. We're going to talk about it. But in the meantime, let's get to some games. Uh, and I'm going to look to see what that's all about. Are you 
looking for a fun party game to play with all your friends? Lucky you, look no further. Republic of Jungle can accommodate five to ten players. We know you're that popular. It's a fun party game with deduction, deception, and a little test for your friendships. Don't miss out. Try Republic of Jungle today. Don't have controllers? No problem. Use your phones as a controller. Dealing with the pandemic? Play remotely. Don't have any friends? Aww. Join our community. Yeah! Go to republicofjungle.com today to find out more. That's R-E-P. Nope, I'm not going to spell that. It's on the screen. Go there and check it out. Damage Dealers is a single-player 2D rhythm fighting game for iOS and Android. It combines fast-paced rhythm gameplay supported by a list of indie music bangers. Challenging fighter mechanics encouraging the creation of lethal combos. And a roster of beat-busting playable characters. Completing challenges, gaining followers, interacting with fans, and building your own hand-picked moveset. Eight Bit Adventures 2 is a story-driven Japanese-style RPG inspired by the classics. While plenty of retro throwbacks exist, our game is less about nostalgia and more about telling a story. Our goal is to take everything players loved about NES, Super Nintendo, and PlayStation 1 era JRPGs and recapture the heart, soul, and charm of that era. Might say frustration or inconvenience. That means an earnest, engaging storyline, relatable, easy to love characters, strategic turn based battles, deep party customization, bizarre monsters, an unforgettable soundtrack, and a large, fantastical world traversed by airship and filled with people full of personality all brought to life by vibrant 8-bit inspired visuals. It may be a sequel, but anyone can jump into this brand new JRPG adventure when it launches on Steam. There's a free demo available right now, and after the initial release we hope to be able to bring the game to consoles as well. Thanks for your time and we hope you'll check it out! Game Deck is a single-player, non-combat, cyberpunk, isometric RPG based on a book series under the same name, written by Marcin Przybyłek. As a private detective, Game Deck, players are solving crimes committed inside virtual worlds. Every decision player makes will have consequences, alter the character traits, and impact the game's course. We would like to create something that resembles the feelings and emotions we get when we play pen and paper RPGs. Despite the terms of reuse, we do want for our choices to matter in the video game. We want the freedom of non-linearity that a tabletop game provides. Game Deck emulates the nature of tabletop RPG by focusing on multiple, choice-dependent, character-building scenarios. The game adapts the player playstyle. We want to celebrate the creativity and individuality of our players and offer them as many options for each quest as possible. Hey, okay. Oh my god. Games. Um, that was really cool. I hope you're enjoying uh, all these cool projects you're getting to see. Um, I was just looking in this book that has my phone in it about slams. Um, and it could be like, because because Indiecade is great, and Indiecade is kind, and indie developers in general like to lift each other up. That's what we're doing here all weekend. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, a slam is also a grand slam, uh, like in uh, baseball or tennis. If you uh, are uh, in, in tennis, uh, that's like if you're winning a bunch of championships. Or if you're like a board gaming person, bridge, which actually underrated game. Uh, not just uh, not just for for people um, 
who like are on on cruise ships you should play bridge that's my personal recommendation uh so i feel like that's we're getting somewhere right like a it's still slam uh it's still kind of like energetic like yeah grand slam but it's not like oh i'm slamming you you know what i mean in a mean way uh I'm feeling good about this, and I think we're doing great. So, um, let's check out some more games, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep workshopping this. Dear Sarah, it's been a while. I thought you might like to know what's been going on. Homing is a sad, queer, 3D, low-poly epistolary game where you navigate a messenger pigeon through a city. During your journey, you hear the contents of the letter you're delivering and learn more about the relationship between a woman and her ex-wife. Flying over specific buildings will change the narration to reveal memories tied to those locations. This game explores the complexity of grief in a conflicted interpersonal relationship. Hi, we are Red Studio, the creator of the game Avoid Vania. Avoid Vania is a 2D top-down oriented metroidvania with a strong emphasis on speed mechanics. It's a dungeon crawler which is fast-paced and not combat oriented. In Avoid Vania, you play as a harmless little cat who can walk, run, or use speed abilities like dash, and many more to discover in the final game, like the rocket boost or the bouncing dash. We make a game which is easy to learn but hard to master. A game with a strong lore, endearing characters and an appealing retro artistic direction for casual players. But with a lot of challenges besides the main progression for hardcore gamers. Thanks for watching and if you want to try the game, wishlist on Steam and get ready to discover this mysterious castle. This is a dice. This is Soku Dice. The goal of the game is to move the dice along here and along here to match this number with this number on top of the dice. Let's give it a shot. Well, that didn't seem too difficult. Some levels have multiple dice. And some levels are a little more challenging. Roll your way through over 100 mind-bending levels. Can you solve them all? Soko Dice, available now. Buckle your seatbelts, chunks! Mount Busmore National Monument on your right. Wait, guys! 
I lost my shoe. Are we there yet? Oh, you'll never believe where we're going next. Was there not a more direct route? We'll be remembered as the last great road trippers of this dying country. Crimson, Ontario was once a prosperous, lively mining town. But that was a long time ago. Now it's quiet, nearly deserted, and some folks aim to keep it that way. Nancy Maple is an aspiring mineralogist, assigned to follow the trail of a dazzling diamond. An intriguing cast of characters has converged under one roof, each meaning to get their own way. Or else. Will Nancy untangle the mysteries and machinations before it's too late? Will the sleepy town of Crimson shine once more? Find out in The Crimson Diamond, an upcoming adventure game by Julia Minamata. The Crimson Diamond demo is available on Steam and Itch.io for Windows PC and Mac OS. Once a robot named Binky was beginning to ascend, he was a funky yellow pyramid, plays him and his friend. Wham, bam, it's the folly of man. There's a nuclear reactor that's going kablam. Chernobyl's going global, we need a hero to stand. Who will save the world? Only Binky can. But like a 3D Dorito, he is powered by magnets. He needs to help out his friend and pick up the fragments. Grab a pal and some controllers, cause this game's for two. Try and make it to the end before the place goes boom. Just gotta get to the core before Chernobyl explodes. Time's running out till the reactor overloads. Traversing underground, there's no time to think. One player is the camera and the other is Bink. Can Binky and his friend follow through with the plan? We don't know, we just made this for the Global Game Jam. This game is out for PC on the Binky Itch page. Just remember to tip us, we students aren't paid. So, so yeah, yeah, check, check out, out Binky. Binky, we, we love, love our little guy. guy. He's a, a funky, funky yellow triangle, triangle and he knows, knows how to how fly. fly. That wasn't the right beat. I, I started at the wrong beat, so let's let's uh, wait for another one. Hello everyone, this is the voice of Ryan Dunnison, the lead on Animal Bar here at Playful Fox Games. Animal Bar is a bartending beverage simulator where you take on the role of a new arrival in town looking to make a new home and business for yourself. You get the choice of starting with either a coffee, tea, or soda bar as you begin to take on the challenges of managing and running your beverage bar. In Animal Bar, you'll come across a cast of animal denizens some of whom have stories you'll learn about as they become regulars in your establishment. You may even help them out with some of the dilemmas in their lives as you learn about their personalities and drink preferences. 
Customize your bar, branch out to new drinks, and reach out to make friends. Animal Bar will be launching a Kickstarter campaign in the new year, so look out for it and follow us on social media for updates. NECA Ghost Jump is a puzzle platformer that takes place on NECA World, in which space dog pirates invade the planet on NECA Man's wedding day and capture his friends and bride to be. NECA Man is able to switch between 2D and 3D camera perspectives to get through obstacles. NECA Man's journey will take him through several biomes, ranging from grassy plains to snowy tundras to sweltering deserts and beyond. NECA Ghost Jump was originally conceived as a game jam submission, with the theme being the other side of the coin, in which we explored the duality of camera perspectives and also the body. Neko Man has the ability to switch into a ghost form that is used for combat, finding hidden loot, and getting through puzzles. Along the way to rescuing everyone, not only are there space dog pirates in his way, but also the planet itself has become hostile. There will be hundreds of customization options available, so you can spend all the loot that's collected. Neko Ghost Jump will be available on PC and consoles in 2021. Listen, listen carefully. I don't have much time. Hello, my name is Jero Zucchini and this is Buisson. Buisson is a competitive hide-and-seek game with a twist. You play as a bush in a forest full of bushes and nothing moves. You'll have to take advantage of the really short night and the cycle to move without being seen. With every player moving at night, each morning is an occasion to spot the differences between the day before and the current one, and maybe spot some of your opponents. To beat them, you have one fart each night and each day. It's a really convenient way to kill someone passing by. Then you have the Hunter, a kind of turret that will shoot in front of him each time a player farts. Clearly the smartest way to kill a suspicious bush, at the cost of revealing your own location. Finally, each type of forest comes with its own hazards, and I hope you'll have fun discovering them when the game releases at the end of this year. Thank you!
Okay, so I hope you're enjoying the games. I am. I hope you are as well. Um, I totally overlooked food. Um, the Grand Slam is a sports thing, but also a breakfast from Denny's. Um, they have a thing called the Original Grand Slam. They have a thing called the Lumberjack Slam, the French Toast Slam, the Grand Slam Witch. Uh, but I don't know your opinions about Denny's. I don't know that I'm supposed to ask uh, or, or talk about any more brand names than I already have in these videos. Um, but breakfast. Let's let's pull it over to breakfast for a sec and explore that. We're thinking Indicate Game Slam, lots of games, kind of like a platter uh, for breakfast, like start your day off well. Um, I don't know if you're uh, like on a vegan diet or an eggs person, but but if you're starting your day with a bunch of great games, games, games from good creators, um, that's a pretty good way to start the day. So we're gonna think on this, and we're gonna watch more games. Bye. <laughs>「Hey, my name's Mason, and this is my game, Way of Rhea. So we've been working on Way of Rhea for a couple of years. It's a puzzle platformer in which you can only interact with objects that match your current color. Now, of course, you can change your current color, and that changes which objects you're able to interact with. While it is a platformer, it is primarily a puzzle game, so all irreversible actions in the game can be undone, including falling off of ledges. The game itself takes place in a number of different biomes, pictured here is the first one. Each biome contains a new twist or new mechanic that you must master, to reach the end of the biome. We're planning to release Spring 2021. Hi, my name is Ernesto Santos. I am the CEO and 3D Technical Artist at Civil Interactive. This time, we have brought to you a virtual reality experience called Kataya. It is a short-lived experience with a highly visceral and interactive charge that allows the player to be part of the story and to physically be in there. We wanted to recreate a sensation similar to being asleep and dreaming. Kataya is an experience in which the player is an explorer who arrives at the Temple of Natuk part of an unknown ancient culture, and in this last space to be visited, he will find the beast called Matu, with whom he must fight until he is victorious or dies in the process.
Hello, my name is Linus, and I am the producer of the character-based Obstacle Hell racing game called Octane Remix. Octane Remix has three unique characters, each with their own unique abilities and playstyles. Our first character is Ludwig. He has high speed but fairly low maneuverability. His special ability allows him to slow time in order to surpass obstacles. Next we have Akash. Akash can smash through rocks and has a higher health stat than the rest of the cars. This is however balanced by a slower overall speed. Finally we have Michishige's car, Ichigo. Ichigo is a highly maneuverable car with moderate speed stats. Don't be fooled however, as the high maneuverability of Michishige's car makes her easy to learn but hard to master. The central point of Octane Remix is the Remix system. This allows you to edit obstacles on any tracks, replay it, and share it with your friends. It also holds your high score, allowing for local competitive play. Hi there. Hi there. Where's Marblock? A group of young developers from Chile currently working on Tika, a narrative-driven adventure game with a focus on exploration and non-linear progression. Play as the titular Tika a shy and introverted young frog who loves drinking tea and reading. The day before she is to host a tea party at her house, she realizes she is completely out of tea, and thus must venture into the woods around her to find the herbs she needs to restock her pantry. To do so, the player will have to explore the world and talk to the different animals who live in the forest, helping them with their errands or completing small favors. During the tick up expedition, the player will also encounter a variety of mini-games, ranging from simple puzzles to action-based challenges. Teacup aims to be a relaxing experience inspired by other narrative indies such as Mutazione and Night in the Wood. Ultimately, we want to tell a story about the nice things that can happen and friendly people you could meet when you dare venture out of your comfort zone. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Oh, fine. Protect me, booty! ชอบอีดิเนี่ยแปลกชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชาชา
In the big con, Allie and her mom run a video store in a small town, but loan sharks are threatening to take it unless someone can come up with $97,000. So, in the most 90s movie way imaginable, Allie hits the road to pickpocket and pickpocket and spy and steal and sneak and grift her way into saving her family business. Now, who you choose to hustle and if what cool shades you wear are entirely up to you. Just get people what they need and the money's gonna come. Lo-Fi Room is a hidden object and rhythm game based on online study music channels. You live through a day in the life of the main character, finding the hidden instruments each step of the way. Finding an instrument starts its rhythm game. After playing through that track, the instrument is added to the beat. This lets you build up lo-fi beats one step at a time. Lo-Fi Room is still in development and is hoping to be released towards the end of 2021. You can play a demo in your web browser now if you go to lofiroom.com. Thank you. When I was a human child, I used to make cassette tape radio shows with my sister. Through a catchy jingle, we demanded that our imaginary listeners recycle their washing machines before they died. Those cassette tape recordings provided an opportunity to be boldly nonsensical, and that is the opportunity I want my game to offer. Distant Transmission is an online, multiplayer, non-competitive, messy writing and performing game in which you produce a radio show and broadcast it into outer space. Thank you for your time and consolidations, and thank you to the IndieCade. Speed Limit is a game about a daily commute suddenly going horribly, horribly wrong. You will drive, you will ride, you will fly, but until you master it, you will die.
It's a one-take, non-stop arcade experience that never slows down. As soon as you think you know how the game works, we'll throw a completely new genre at you, leading you through what is best described as a tour through the early 90s arcade experience. It's a poetry slam. It says it like right on the Indicate website, which I, um, that makes sense. I don't even need to explain it. Bunch of poets doing poetry for people. You get a variety. Bunch of games, Indicate, Game Slam. Um, well, you learn something new, do your homework, you know, that's the lesson today. Uh, and you have been doing your homework by watching all these great game concepts. So thank you. Um, uh, and also like sincerely thank you. Um, if you are a game maker, um, then you are a part of the games community. You are part of the Indicate community. Um, thank you for being here and thank you for supporting other creators. I hope that this was uh, inspiring to you and you know uh, reach out to some of these teams offer them some support if you enjoyed uh, their projects uh, and if you're not a game maker you just like games and you've come here that's awesome it's awesome that you're seeking out uh, different types of work that uh, can be harder to find and it means you kind of have to do the legwork and uh, I know Indicate appreciates that you're participating and and watching and I certainly do so um thank you for watching thanks for dealing with me uh this has been the indicate game slam i am teddy deef bye oh my god uh i'm so sorry real quick i'm back uh please wear your masks please be safe keep everyone safe during this pandemic we're gonna get through it together love you all and lastly if you are watching this from america and you're able to please go vote vote by mail do the voting thing cool love you bye Indicate Game Slam, you are the best.